Okay, hello everybody, it's uh, me again. A little while ago I posted a uh, video of how you can make a uh, CG image of a uh, fire planet. This time I got something that's slightly different, but nonetheless it's still pretty cool. Uh, let's open up a new file. Um, for this tutorial you will need a computer with um, some memory in it. If you have one gig you uh, might not want to do this on a big page. I have uh, 2 gigabytes of memory so I can do this one on a 1600 by 1200 without getting problems. Now uh, select your pixels and next to that go to background contents and there um, put it on transparent. Press ok and you will get a new file. Now you can see that you don't have a background yet so make a new layer and uh, set your colors to the right way, right here, or press the D on your keypad. That will set it back to normal as well. Now press Shift F5, and you will get this um, box right here. You can also go to Edit and Fill. It's the same thing. Press OK, and you will get the uh, color that's on your foreground. So now we have um, one transparent layer and layer two, which uh, has the background. Uh, Let's switch those. Let's put, put layer 1 on top of it. Now select your pen tool. Now you can use the uh, normal pen tool, but I'm really horrible at this. I really don't know how how to make things I want with this pen. So I always use the uh, freeform pen and that's good for me because I have a um, Wacom tablet. So now what you want to make is something like this. And uh, let's hope I get it right the first time. So uh, some sort of blob thingy I'm giving this one like four legs but if you can make you, you can make something with three legs if you want or whatever uh, now go to pot uh, which is right here in your layer window thing uh, make selection press ok and then you can see that the thing that you just created selected um, also this can be um, a lot easier when you press down control and then click on shape 1 uh, let's see what are we gonna do now yes make another new layer there we go um, and this one we're going to a uh, gradient tool well, you all know this one and what we're gonna do now I preset this one you will start with uh, black then go to gray go to black again and gray again now what we're gonna do is th with this one is um, slightly off the middle it's not in the middle of the blob and then go all the way to one of the edges then you can see you got something like this uh, if it's correct oh uh, one thing you need to set it to the circular uh, thing I don't know how they call it radial gradient it's up here and go to filter if you've done this and then to what was it sketch yes and then chrome now um, you got two sliders right here the first one is detail detail put this one to zero and smoothness to 10 that's the lowest and the highest of the two so it wouldn't be that hard press ok and you will apply this thing then you must uh, freeform this thing and you can go to edit and then free transform a lot easier is uh, to press ctrl T uh, right click on the block and then you will see perspective please click the, this one and then, then you grab uh, the left or the right corner it doesn't matter low or um, high I will grab the right low corner and just drag it all the way, t all the, way to the left until you're lined up again now press enter make sure that you apply the transform before you do it again press ctrl T again and this one take the right top corner oh sorry uh, perspective first of course so go to uh, of right mouse click first go to perspective click it and now take the right top corner drag this one all the way down until this one is in line hit enter again and then you have something like this some butterfly or whatever just just look um, now we can uh, go to the layer with the shape 1 uh, you can delete this one we're not going to use this anymore oh jump cut there I'm sorry already 
Um, what we're gonna new do now is uh, double click la the layer with the blob and go to drop shadow and put the distance at something around 16 and spread to 8 and you can turn size to 23 or something that will do uh, what we're gonna do now is uh, really the fun part and the part also where you uh, will need your uh, memory your RAM now uh, you have your navigator and next to that should be uh, something like this and this little button right here is the action button if you click it something like this will come out and next to the trash can there will be this paper with the fallen edge if you press this one you will make a new action I'm gonna do that, that. I'm gonna name this one twist and default key I'm gonna turn this into F2 it doesn't matter choose one on the list now I pr will press record what Photoshop is doing now is recording every step that I take and basically with F2 later on I can uh, yeah, do those steps over again without really doing the steps over again but you will see in a little while so what you're gonna do now is go to layer duplicate layer press ok and now you have a uh, layer 3 copy I didn't name it or anything uh, but that's not all we're now going to image no sorry edit transform and then uh, rotate now uh, the X and the Y X just leave those if you mess it um, it will just mess up the picture so just leave it as they are uh, then you got the width and the height let's turn the height down to 90 percent and the one that's next to that you can adjust the angle with this uh, press minus and then 10 so that the picture will turn 10 degrees you can also do it less but it's more RAM slurping or whatever okay the point where you have this uh, you will see that underneath your new um, action will stand duplicate current layer and transform current layer now you can press the stop button so it will stop record if you now press your action key which in my case is F2 you'll see that I will get the layer again and you will hit this key as long as you won't see the blob anymore and in my case that's about 100 layers so it's gonna take a while if you get this screen it just means that you are going too fast and Photoshop will not be able to keep up with your actions so you need to press OK and then continue now a faster way uh, what I found is just to zoom out on this and then I could do this a lot faster I did this a few times so I know that I will need roughly about 100 layers there we went too fast again and as more layers will be created the more random stages slower Photoshop will get and yet we will, we will soon be able to work with this one so let's continue almost there so I have uh, exactly 100 layers now just let's zoom in let's see if we see any change well I can see that there's something selected and I made way more layers than uh, possible you can see it right here it's just one pixel so if I hit F2 nothing will happen anymore that's perfect so now we're already um, pretty far but not there yet um, what we're gonna do now is uh, go to